Hey guys, Chloe Kim here. Have you ever wondered how much being a professional snowboarder and Olympic gold medalist pays? Judging by Chloe Kim's glamorous life of travel, practice, magazine covers, and brand deals, we're willing to bet that it's a hefty amount. At the age of 17, Chloe Kim became the youngest woman ever to win an Olympic snowboarding gold medal. So, how much is she worth? Chloe Kim's last estimated net worth was $400,000, but that was actually before she broke records and won the Olympic gold medal. Ever since, Ms. Kim has been signing brand deals left and right, from becoming an ambassador of the Korean beauty company Laneige to making an appearance in a Samsung Super Bowl ad, Chloe is likely looking at a future as a young millionaire. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how she chooses to spend her millions. Her love for fashion turns into sweet new brand deals. Chloe describes herself as a big LA girl with a love for fashion, so it's safe to assume that she's been spending her Olympic cash on trendy new fits, both for the gram and for the various events and award shows that she's invited to. Take her ESPY award show appearances as an example. In 2018, she strutted down the red carpet in a black and red floral mini dress. It was later revealed on her Instagram that the dress was custom made for her by Prada. Wow, she's definitely living every girl's dream. Designer award show dresses aside, Chloe Kim usually experiments with a very edgy and sporty street fashion look, which is very fitting for the whole Olympic athlete vibe she is going on. Just take a look at this Nike-themed outfit she wore to the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Sports Awards. That's right, the snowboarder recently closed a deal with the athletic mega brand Nike. And what better way to show it off than by dripping yourself in the Nike brand logo and sporting a customized pair of Nike Air Max FF720 trainers. If that wasn't enough, the young athlete was spotted sporting a Breitling Golden Watch on her Instagram not long after the Nickelodeon award show. For those who don't know, Breitling is a luxury watch brand whose average prices range from $9,000 to $15,000. So we've got Nike, Prada, and Breitling. What other luxury brands does Chloe Kim indulge in? Well, it looks like brands are just as interested in her as she is in them. Chloe's love of fashion has led her to design her very own outerwear line in collaboration with Roxy, a California-based surf and snowwear brand. The print clothes that Chloe Kim designed with Roxy are signature of her usual fashion aesthetic, edgy, gothic, and floral. The line will launch in 2022, but Chloe's Instagram has been full of hints and glimpses of her modeling the clothes. Being able to design outerwear has just been a dream, and now I finally have that opportunity to do so, and I've just been having so much fun with it, Kim was reported to say. The collaboration with Roxy is not just about aesthetics and fashion. It also promises to be highly functional. Of course, that's what we expect from a professional snowboarder. The functional aspects include overalls with a black zip, which promise to help female snowboarders get changed faster and easier. The collaboration with Roxy isn't even the first time that Chloe Kim has been involved in the designer sportswear. Earlier, Chloe teamed up with sports equipment brand Oakley to design a sleek professional pair of snowboarding goggles. So there you have it, decked out in customized luxury wear, which she designed herself no less. This is the rich lifestyle of Olympic gold medalist Chloe Kim. It comes as no surprise that the athlete's Instagram bio has eight different brands tagged in it, all of which are her sponsors. Get that bag, Miss Chloe. <laughs> you know me, never taking it mellow. Nah, I want to do some crazy stuff, so we'll see how it goes. A fully funded Ivy League experience, Chloe's life at Princeton University. Being a teen millionaire does have its perks. When she's not designing her own fashion line or riding her snowboard on snowy slopes, Chloe Kim is busy attending Princeton University, one of America's most expensive colleges. Life at an Ivy League university is no joke. You're surrounded not only by the best of the best, but also the richest of the rich. The campus has been home to the likes of Brooke Shields and Michelle Obama, so Chloe Kim has some big shoes to fill. Apparently, college hasn't been as easy for Chloe is snowboarding. Since the Olympic athlete has been practicing snowboarding since she was a toddler, she's never had time for friends or classes. I did all of my school online. It was really hard for me to adapt to college, says Kim. The hardest part for me was actually meeting people. There was a lot of going to the dean's office and being like, hey, I'm struggling right now. I think someone knows where my room is. People are taking pictures of me when I'm eating. It's making me really uncomfortable. Looks like Chloe's life isn't always glitz and glamour. We wish her the best in trying to adjust to college. Hopefully, she can make some friends and get to enjoy the full Ivy League experience, which is bound to include some wild mansion-side parties, concerts, and plenty of networking with the children of politicians, celebrities, businessmen, etc. Traveling the world. The best part of being in the top 1%. Traveling the world. That's right, from Switzerland to California. It's no exaggeration to say that Chloe Kim has snowboarded her way across the mountains of the globe. Chloe grew up in California, and her dedicated father got her snowboarding.
snowboarding in the local mountain high resort when she was just four years old. He actually dragged me to the mountain when I was four to bribe my mom to come snowboard with him. So it really wasn't voluntary on my part, she said. But I'm actually really glad he did that. And I'm really glad he just kept bringing me to the mountain. I think all of us sports fans are very glad that her father decided to drag her to the mountains. As her love for snowboarding grew, so did her international travels. Chloe flew across the world all the way to Geneva, Switzerland at the tender age of eight in order to practice in the mountains there. She then returned to the States at the age of 10 to train at the Mammoth Mountain, California. Her travels continued across the U.S. and abroad as she made her way through different competitions, including the X Games and the Youth Olympics. The next exciting destination for Chloe Kim, however, was Pyeongchang, South Korea. Chloe is a first-generation Korean-American herself, so the trip was just like a visit back home, but with the eyes of the sports world on her. That's right, in 2018, the teenage snowboarding superstar had qualified for the Pyeongchang Olympics. Here, she made history by winning a gold medal at just 17 years of age. These days, Chloe Kim spends her days traveling to different mountain ranges to test out her snowboard. According to her Instagram, she was in Kranz, Montana, Switzerland just a few months ago. She was invited to a luxury snowboarding resort named Health Park, which is run by professionals in snow sports. What an experience, am I right? An unexpected 16th birthday present from Toyota. Most of us expect a surprise party and maybe some cash at our 16th birthday, but for Olympic athlete Chloe Kim, turning 16 meant signing a multi-year partnership with car company Toyota. This naturally came with some serious perks, including receiving a free RAV4 SUV on her birthday. Wow, this is definitely inspiring us to work harder and possibly take up professional snowboarding ourselves. The Toyota deal actually ended up with Chloe being featured in the ad campaign for the 2020 Prius. A 30-second TV advertisement showed Chloe relying on the trusty Prius to get to the mountain summit right before her next big snowboarding competition. A side hustle, being an entrepreneur. There's no end to the hidden talents of Chloe Kim. Alongside traveling, attending an Ivy League university, and doing brand deals, the young athlete has also decided to invest her millions in her very own startup. She is one of four female co-founders of Together, which is stated to be a brand that is a crossover between lifestyle, culture, and sport. Alongside co-owners Alex Morgan, Simone Manuel, and Sue Bird, Chloe revealed that Together is going to be a new digital platform working to uplift the next generation of women in sports. They do this through running a bustling Instagram presence, creating mini YouTube documentaries, and making online profiles for new up-and-coming sports stars. Their goal is to shatter negative stereotypes that surround women in sports and encourage more females to get into athletics. Together is just Chloe's latest venture. We're sure that this athlete has a lot more in store for herself as her riches grow and she continues to win gold medals. That's all we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed this video on Chloe Kim's expensive lifestyle. Let us know in the comments down below who you think should be featured next in this series. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you don't miss another video.